Alright guys, welcome back to another video today on the Ghost Flash channel. In today's video, you guys, I'm working on the Genesis Coupe and also a big shout out to Max Speeding Rods, guys. They sent me out this flag for the garage. They sent me out another one for that side of the garage as well as a clean jacket. And I'm not wearing the jacket right now. I was just wearing it yesterday. But uh, I'll show you guys the jacket. I'll either pop up a picture or a video clip on the screen or I'll just wear it. I'll show you guys, but the jacket's wet. But so yeah, if you guys haven't checked out Max Speeding Rods, go ahead and check them out as well as um, use my discount code GHOST. I believe it's ghost or ghost flash pretty sure it's ghost flash but I'll put the code on the screen it'll get you guys 50% off anything on their website so go ahead and check them out their apparel flags they got uh, coilovers they got turbos a whole bunch of stuff for you guys cars so go ahead and check them out but in today's video ladies and gentlemen we work on the Genesis coupe once again so they did um they sponsored the last turbo that I did on the vehicle. They didn't sponsor this one, but they did give me um, that discount code for you guys to use, and it is the biggest discount code they have offered. So be sure to use that, guys, because the best discount code you guys can get out there on the market right now. Well, we have the turbo in right now. It's just in the car. It's not bolted down or anything, um, but it is ready to get bolted down. I needed it in the car to get it mocked up because the intercooler piping, as you guys can see, is not here. So the intercooler that I was running is the Mishimoto intercooler for the 2.0 turbo Genesis Coupe. Now it does still fit with this turbo setup, but my tuner was telling me uh, to be able to run this boost controller that we we're wiring in, which you guys will see in a different video. I basically, he was like, you need a blow off valve and I'm not running a blow off valve. Hence why I also had to install this in the last video because we have to run a blow off valve. So we bought this because I obviously don't know how to weld aluminum, nor do I have the stuff to weld aluminum to even learn so i was trying to figure out a location to put the blow off valve so i bought this so this is going to be, uh, be able to attach my blow off valve right here via snap ring and i'll show you guys what blow off valve i am running but so in this video i'm going to show you guys basically i'm going to remove this inner core pipe and i'm going to have to cut it or basically this can go in place of that to be able to run the blow off valve over here in this little corner but obviously if i cut it i'm going to lose the bead that's on the top as well as I have to, I don't have to make a bead for this obviously because it's already bead rolled, but I'm gonna have to make a bead for this one because it's not gonna have one now. So in this video guys, I'm gonna show you guys basically how to modify your inner cooler to be able to run um, blow off valves yourself without having to take them to fabricator to get welded and or buy new inner cooler piping. I'll show you guys a cool little link that I got from eBay cost me about 75 bucks for this bead roller and attaches to a table vise. So I'm gonna show you guys how to use that as well. So the blow off valve we did go with guys. I'm gonna go ahead and grab it right now. So this is the snap ring kit. Comes with a little filter as well, some turbo tees, and some clamps, and it looks like an O-ring. So we went with, so I already threw the box away because I got excited, but. You already know we had to go HKS on them boys. So we are gonna be running the HKS um, super sequential blah, blah, blah. the HKS super sequential blow off valve. Pretty sick, pretty sick. Got it in black instead of like the typical silver, chrome, whatever you want to call it. So that'll look a lot nicer, a lot more sleek. So that will be the blow off valve we will be running in this vehicle. So I'm kind of excited. Be, I used to run HKS blow off valve way back in the day, and then one day after four years of running it, it decided to fall off and it just fell off the car. So yeah, we don't have it anymore. But if you guys also didn't know, you guys can remove all these allens to remove this face to be able to remove this little chrome piece in the middle. Because this little chrome piece, what it does is changes the way the, the air comes out and the sound of it. So with having this in, it has more of a high pitch, like fast and furious blow off. And if you remove this, it makes like a really, really deep toned, like, whoosh, like a whiplash. Pretty crazy. So yeah, if you guys didn't know that, then you do. First, when I stopped recording, the pipe fell at the bottom. Bruh. All right, so my plan of attack. To get this perfect, I wanna get another one of these uh, couplers to go on this end so I can measure exactly where the coupler is gonna stop so that way they're even and then I can get my cut on this end. So let me go ahead and walk over here. Hi Miata. Ooh, that color looking crazy, boy. Hold on, boy. All right, anyways, I'm gonna get my 
my drawer of many things. I got a whole bunch of electrical and stuff in here, a whole bunch of hoses, and it looks like we got a whole bunch of couplers too. I think. Hey! This one might work. Let's go ahead and find out on today's episode. All right, so let's go ahead and put this on real quick. I'm getting a phone call from Damien freaking Cole. Damien freaking Cole. Hello? What? Are you at the house? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, is it cool if I fly by? I ain't tripping. All right, I'll slide over. All right, bet. All right, bye. Later. All right, so let's go ahead and see if this fits onto here. And it does. So have them lined up side by side like that. Make sure they're even. <laughs> Sorry guys, allergy season. And then I'm gonna go ahead and line them, make sure they're both lined up perfectly. Get my cut line right here. So, theoretically, should have to cut this off. Bead roll this end, put this in place, put a couple in between, and we should be A-OK. -okay. So the bead roller, ladies and gentlemen, will come in a box and it'll come with this as well as this. So as you guys can see, I'm going to show you guys how this will get set up right now. So essentially you would take this, obviously you flip in the direction you have the most room. You get the table vise kind of farther in, obviously. And then you just set it in and then you tighten the table vise, obviously as much as possible. Then you go ahead and grab this. This just goes on the very end right here, just like so, and then bam. So you'll grab this pipe or whatever pipe you plan on bead rolling. You'll insert it in right here like so, wherever you can go however far in, but this is where the bead will go. So we'll just push it all the way in like that. And then you lower this down until you feel it start to like obviously get tight. And then you start rolling. So yeah, as you guys saw, this pipe had no bead on it and by the time we were done it will have a bead so we're just gonna go a couple times tighten it keep going should be good and then you go ahead and just loosen it and then your pipe will come out and then there you go guys so this is the side that is from Mishimoto a little minor bead well nothing crazy then we got the ghost flash bead oh boy that sucker is looking gnarly boy Whew. 75 bucks on eBay, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys are doing intercooler piping at your house, this is what you need. You literally just need an angle grinder, cut the pipe. I do have a pipe bender if I would need it to bend pipe, but in this case, I did not. Now I have a bead roller. So technically I have all the stuff I would need to be able to make and fabricate my own intercooler and intercooler piping without having to weld. So this is a very cheap DIY way to do it, guys. Um, if you guys enjoyed today's video on the Genesis Coop, um, basically using my new DIY bead roll setup or bead roll tool that I got from uh, eBay, it was about 75 bucks. So if you guys enjoyed, um 
being able to see that process and how to bead roll your own piping to be able to modify and or create your own intercooler piping for your turbo setup, let me know in the comments down below. And um, I'll go ahead and put the link of it in the description. And if I don't, harass me in the comments section or DM me on Instagram if you guys want the link to be able to buy this product. And by the way, if you guys are wondering, uh, this is that Max Speeding Rods jacket that I was telling you guys about. Like, look at the design on this thing. It's got even something on the hood right here. Where is it? Right here. Can I forgot what it says. I don't know if you guys can read that because it might be backwards. But this jacket is freaking wet, bro. And the quality is actually insane. It's got something on the back. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, I'm setting set you guys up right there, but yeah, it's got something on the back right here as you guys can see And it's got like stuff down the sides of the sleeves, which is sick and It's got this cool little thing on it, bro I feel like I'm in like some designer merch right now And I don't know if you guys can see through like the camera how good the quality of the jacket is, but it, this is insane It's probably one of my new favorite jacket shout out to Max Speedy Rods for sending me out this jacket ladies and gentlemen But yeah, if you guys like today's video go ahead and like comment subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next ghost flash video